These finds of archaeologists will force you to see the world of archaeology with new eyes, ancient tombs, mummies, and unique artifacts of antiquity. And at the end of the video, you will learn an interesting story about a man from the 19th century who had an incredible talent to melodically fart the French anthem. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. Skeleton of a woman with an anomaly Recently, scientists from the University of Lisbon came across an amazing find. They discovered the skeleton of a woman with a huge bone outgrowth on her thigh. This outgrowth, they learned, was formed after a very serious injury, due to which the woman probably had great difficulty in moving. This unique skeleton was found in 2002 on the territory of an ancient necropolis near the church of St. Julian in Portugal. Here, archaeologists have found the remains of 106 adults and 45 children who lived between 600 and 200 years ago. The woman whose skeleton they discovered was small, only 1.54 meters, but despite all the difficulties, she lived for more than 50 years. When scientists found her, she was lying on her back with her hands resting on her pelvis and her head turned to the right. A very unusual detail was a coin they found on her left forearm. On the woman's thigh was an 8-centimeter outgrowth that formed at the point where the muscle connects the femur and pubic bones. Interestingly, the researchers found no evidence of a hip fracture. This confirms the assumption that the woman suffered a serious muscle injury shortly before her death and lived with it from six weeks to a year. This outgrowth, of course, created problems for the woman in terms of Ability and probably she couldn't make active movements or carry heavy loads. However, as it appears, she was not left to fend for herself. Perhaps she had loved ones or even an entire community who helped her cope with the consequences of the trauma. Accidental Discovery of Tutankhamun's Tomb Back in 1922, an archaeologist named Howard Carter encountered the greatest discovery of his life. In the Valley of the Kings in Egypt, he discovered the tomb of, of Tutankhamun, which contained more than 5,000 precious artifacts. But do you know that this expedition might not have happened? Western archaeologists have been exploring the Valley of the Kings since the beginning of the 19th century. When the First World War began, the excavations were suspended and did not achieve great results. At this time, the Earl of Canavan, or George Herbert, who financed these excavations, appears on the scene. He was disappointed by the lack of discoveries and was ready to cut off funding, but in 1922, he decided to give a chance to Howard Carter, who was sure that there was something important in the Valley of the Kings. This was the last excavation season in the valley. Working tirelessly, Carter and his team almost lost hope until November 4, 1922, they opened the tomb of the pharaoh Tutankhamun. It was a huge discovery that surprised the whole world. In the tomb, they found more than 5,000 valuable artifacts that had been lying untouched for 3,000 years. In Carter's book, which was found later, was the address of the Earl of Carnarvon, thanks to whom these excavations took place. The Count, unfortunately, died the year after the discovery from complications from a mosquito bite. Fifty years after Carter's discovery, many of the treasures from Tutankhamun's tomb were on display in the British Museum. The exhibition was so popular that it was extended for six months. Over 30,000 people visited it in the first week. On the first day of the exhibition, people stood in line for more than 14 hours to see these unique artifacts. Interestingly, in 1921, Howard Carter was a guest of the Earl of Carnarvon in his castle. This is confirmed by the population census of the time. It's funny that the profession of an archaeologist was not mentioned in Carter's documents. He was called an artist. After after Tutankhamun's tomb was completely cleared in 1932, Carter decided to retire from archaeology. He died seven years later. There was an amazing story about how perseverance and self-confidence led to one of the most important discoveries in the history of archaeology. The path to discovery is not always straight and easy, but it is stories like these that show that even the most difficult obstacles can be overcome. Roman Military Camps in Arabia 
With the help of a magical Google Earth map, archaeologists from the famous Oxford University have uncovered the secret of three ancient Roman military camps hidden between the countries of Jordan and Saudi Arabia. These camps, built about 2,000 years ago, are surprisingly well preserved to this day. These camps were like temporary castles that Roman soldiers built during their travels. They are arranged in a straight line and are located at a distance of 37 and 44 kilometers from each other. As as if they were measured with a ruler. All of them are rectangular in shape and have two entrances, like two doors in a house, which are located opposite each other. One of the camps, which is located closer to the west, turned out to be even larger than the other two. But the most interesting thing about this story is that not a single ancient book mentions any military adventures of the Romans in this territory. Scholars think these camps are secret traces of untold battles that took place when the Romans conquered the Nabataean Kingdom in 106. After that, this place became known as Arabia Petria. The Prince of Egypt who really loved his cat Imagine a royal sarcophagus for a cat. This is just an amazing discovery made by archaeologists. This sarcophagus belonged to a cat who was very fond of Prince Thutmos, the eldest son of Pharaoh Amenhotep III. The prince wanted his furry friend to be well even in death. The goddess Isis herself, spreading her wings, guards the tranquility of the mummy of a cat. And the soul of the cat comfortably settled down at a plentiful table with offerings. On the lid of the sarcophagus is written, May I find myself among the immortal souls in heaven, for I am Tomet the Righteous. Unfortunately, Prince Thutmose could not enjoy the company of his beloved for too long and soon followed her to heaven. After his death, the younger brother of Thutmose became Pharaoh, known to us as Akhenaten, husband of the delightful Queen Nefertiti. This amazing sarcophagus was created during the reign of Amenhotep III around 1391-1353 BC and is now kept in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Also, do you know how the Egyptians treated cats? Oh, it was true love. They adored little kittens, revered the goddess Bastid of Babastis, and feared the majestic and stern Sakmet, one of the incarnations of Hathor. But unfortunately, times are changing. In the era of the Ramsites, when a period of disorder and corruption set in, people began to run cruel businesses. They simply killed the cats, wrapped them in cloth, and sold them, presenting them as consecrated cat mummies. It was a terrible sacrilege, but alas, documents were found in which this story is confirmed. Stories like these make us even more attached to our pets. Imagine how Prince Thutmose took care of his beloved, giving her eternal rest with the help of such a beautiful and expensive sarcophagus. It's really touching. Also, did you know that the Egyptians were among the first to domesticate cats? Yes, guys, they were real cat lovers back when most people saw these animals only as wild predators. And don't forget, every time you pet your cat, you are continuing a tradition that has been going on for thousands of years. Your pets deserve the same love that Prince Thutmose gave his pet Tamit. Keep this in mind and take care of your furry friends. Ancient Scissors in China, they found a royal tomb full of treasures, and in the suburbs of Munich, Germany, they discovered a 2,300-year-old Celtic burial. And that's what they found there. In the Munich district of Sandling, an ordnance disposal team searched for the remains of World War II shells at a construction site. They had no idea that they would discover an ancient tomb. After that, archaeologists from the Bavarian State Office for the Protection of Monuments arrived at the site. They dug up the tomb and found many ancient artifacts, a rolled sword, the remains of a shield, a spearhead, a razor, and even a fibula. But the most surprising thing is the 2,300-year-old Celtic scissors, which are so well preserved that they were described as almost new with a slight sheen. Professor Matthias files that these scissors are so well preserved that they can still be used today. He explained that the excellent condition of the scissors is due to the skill of the Celtic blacksmith who created them 2,300 years ago. Scientists think these scissors could have been used used to cut hair, fabrics, or even sheep shearing. Imagine how much history is hidden under our feet. Sometimes it, it seems that each step can lead us to new incredible discoveries, so be careful, who knows what you yourself may find. Tomb with Human Remains 
Incredible discovery straight from the heart of Amman. Archaeologists have found an ancient stone tomb in the desert, which is over 7,000 years old. Just think about it, it was so long ago that even dinosaurs have already become extinct. In this tomb, they found the remains of dozens of people who lived in those ancient times. This place is located near the city of Nafan in the center of Amman, close to the coast. But do not think that there are palm trees and sandy beaches, around only a harsh, rocky desert. Archaeologists Elisabetta Danielisova and her team from the Czech Institute of Archaeology in Prague have been digging in the sands of Oman for years, unearthing the country's ancient secrets. They even discovered a stone axe that could be over a million years old. Can you imagine what secrets these stones can hold? But their research is not limited to just one tomb. They also study ancient drawings on the rocks nearby. These drawings were made thousands of years after the tomb was built. What will they tell us about the lives of those people who lived here thousands of years ago? We don't know yet, but we'll definitely find out later. Necropolis in the center of Paris in the heart of Paris, next to one of the busiest metro stations, scientists have discovered an ancient cemetery. Yes, you heard it right. It is in Paris, the city of fashion and love. Imagine that you are walking the streets of Paris and under your feet, 50 ancient graves, each of which hides its own history. And all this time they remained unnoticed, despite all the construction work and even the construction of the Port Royal Railway Station in the 70s of the last century. Scientists were able to determine the time of burial thanks to a coin found in the mouth of one of the deceased. Apparently, the second century AD was rich in important events. Imagine how many stories these people, women, men, and even children who lived in those distant times could tell. They were representatives of the Gallic people who lived in Lutetia when this fishing village was under the control of the Roman Empire. It is remarkable that these people were buried in wooden coffins, from which only nails have survived to this day. Interestingly, more than half of the bodies were buried with offerings, including ceramic jugs and goblets. Archaeologists also found a complete skeleton of a pig and another small animal in the pit. Perhaps these animals were sacrificed to the gods. Archaeologists have also unearthed personal items such as jewelry, hair pins and belts. People were buried fully clothed and several pairs of shoes were sometimes left next to them. Scientists were able to find footprints thanks to the tiny studs used to secure the soles. The researchers say these shoes are placed either at the feet of the dead or next to them as an offering. And sometimes a coin is placed in the coffin or in the mouth of the disease to guarantee the soul a safe path to the underworld. Charon's obol was intended to pay for the services of a ferryman who in ancient Greek mythology transported the souls of the dead across the river Styx. Isn't it amazing that such an ancient cemetery went unnoticed for so long? This story reminds us that something incredible and mysterious can be hidden under every step of our daily life. Ancient Roman Sundial Guys, are you ready to be surprised? Now I will tell you about an amazing artifact from ancient Rome, a bronze sundial in the form of pork hams. Yes, you heard it right. This amazing item was found in the 18th century at the famous villa of the papyri in Herculaneum. It was named pork clock or prosciutto clock, Italian for ham. The bronze ham shows a curvilinear table that helped measure the length of the shadow. The vertical columns indicate the names of the Roman month and the horizontal lines indicate the number of hours from sunlight rise to sunset. Unfortunately, the pointer Neumann broke off and was lost, but in 2016 scientists created a copy of the clock using a 3D printer and added the Neumann tail to the ham. The researchers conducted experiments and found that the clock works quite well. It may seem that the accuracy of the clock is not high, but the Romans did not need to know the time to the nearest minute. Moreover, these clocks were more of a status item, like modern expensive Swiss watches. People wanted to show that they have such a thing and not just tell the time. You may ask, how did the Romans point the clock at the sun without a compass? The answer is simple. They set the vertical plane of the clock directly to the sun. Even in the distant past, people created interest in an unusual things that boggle our imagination even now. The most famous farter in the world Have you ever heard of a man who played the flute using his ass? No? Then fasten your seatbelts, because you will get acquainted with the extraordinary story of Joseph Puyol, or as he was also called, Fartomaniac. 
Our story begins in France when one day a little boy Joseph decided to swim in the sea. And so, having plunged under the water, he felt that his stomach was filling with cold water. Frightened, he ran ashore and water began to flow from there, but not from his mouth or nose, but from his anus. Joseph's mother, seeing this, took him to the doctor who reassured her, saying that the boy simply had unique control over the abdominal muscles. This allowed him to fill his rectum with air or water and release them in a powerful jet. Imagine the distance of such shots, sometimes reached several meters. After school, Joseph worked for a while in a bakery, then served in the army where his comrades learned about his unusual talent. He even arranged performances for them and after the service, he decided to show his art on the big stage. So in 1887, Joseph Puyol first appeared on the stage of the theater in Marseille, and a few years later, he won the love of the audience of the famous Moulin Rouge. He could not only release fountains from his anus, but also make various sounds of different tones. His talent was so unique that he was nicknamed Le Petiment, which translates from French as Pardomaniac. Now imagine, Joseph could play the flute, imitate cannon shots, blow out candles from a distance of several meters, and even sing the French anthem La Marseillaise using only the power of his anus. His shows were visited by such famous personalities as Sigmund Freud, King Leopold II of Belgium, King Edward VII of Great Britain and Ireland. During his performances, audience exploded with laughter and people cried with joy, and of course not because of the smell. One of the most popular acts in his repertoire was a children's show where he, with the help of his unique talent, presented children with the voices of various animals and birds. But unfortunately, the beginning of the 20th century brought grief to Joseph's family. Two of his sons returned from the war disabled, and the third son was put behind bars. This forced Joseph to move away from performing arts and return to the baking business. Joseph Puyol died in 1945 at the age of 88 and was buried in the Lavalette Cemetery. Specialists from the Sorbonne even offered his relatives a large sum of money for the opportunity to study the remains of Joseph, but they refused. And so, the body of the unique fart man still rests in the grave, keeping his incredible talent a secret. And my my talent is to create interesting videos for you and share new archaeological finds and stories from the ancient world as often as possible. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone!